Let your kingdom be established in our presence as your people declare your mighty words. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come.
Appreciate God for His goodness, bringing you here safe and sound, remembering what Jesus Christ did for us 2,000 years ago. I want you to open your mouth and appreciate God for the suffering that Jesus Christ went through because of me and you, for laying His life down for me and you, despite seeing what we will go through, but still. He did it. I want you to open your mouth and appreciate God. Thank God for his goodness, for his loving kindness, for his redemption package upon our life, for forgiving the sins of us. Jesus Christ did it even without considering his own personal life, his convenience. But as long as it is the will of his father, as, as long as it's his purpose for coming to the earth, as long as it's the vision of his father, he laid his life down. I want you to open your mouth. Thank God for his goodness. Mene rakaraya natsua zia takuri yanata mani koti sinte kakati ta titiate mara kuara rani koti sita ritaria zerina ra 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 ye katona ni amakua to siantarate zeni ke anto roki atariana no si. Mari katoria nata sukuturite ta kuturuta. Ni manaria katura nanisi. Zenakura, zenakura. Lord, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we cannot thank you enough for what you did for us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you did not consider yours, yourself. You did not consider your life. You did not consider the sweetness of life but because it was meant to be so that the will of your father be done you laid your life down you went through all the suffering you went through all the process to the Golgotha and you laid your life for us down Lord and gave us your life took our sinful life Lord we thank you Lord Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorify your whole name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good evening, brothers and sisters, those that are here and on the net. You are all welcome to this third day of our prayer and fasting. We thank God for your lives. Thank God for the privilege that you will have to be part of this prayer session. So many people will want to be still alive and be calling upon the name of the Lord. But for one reason or the other, they are gone. And every day people are going. But we are still in this earth. We are still living. We thank God who will bless his holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The word of God said in Isaiah 53, verse 5, talking about Jesus Christ, our Lord, our King, the Son of God, our Redeemer, our Savior. He said, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes, we are healed. You see, 
Jesus Christ has already paid the price for whatever ailment or sickness that will come our way. It's like somebody who has a life insurance or somebody who has comprehensive insurance for the car. Even though there is no accident, but you are rest assured that if it happens, that it has already been taken care of. And what Jesus Christ did, as we are remembering this week, the Passion Week, that he looked upon us with pity and to fulfill the plan of his Father in heaven, Jesus Christ came. The word of God said that he was wounded for our sins. He paid the price, the full consequences of our sin. He took it upon himself. He was wounded. He was scourged. Pilate told them to beat hell out of him. It is not that he could not stop it, but because the will has to be done, because it was the original plan after our father Adam failed. And man needs to be reconciled back to the father, the creator. And there was nothing that could be done except that the sins of the world would be taken care of with somebody's life that has no sin. Brothers and sisters, I want you to get up. Let us again thank God for this great sacrifice that Jesus Christ did. For taking care of whatever that will come tomorrow to say is a sickness upon our lives to attack us, to inconvenience us. Let us open our mouths and with our mouth and tongue thank Jesus that we are insured for our health. It doesn't matter what your body is going through right now. But keep on telling your body that this thing, you came too late because it has already been taken care of. Open your mouth. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name. Jesus, thank you for insuring us. Thank you for making sure that we will live a glorious life. A life that you have brought to us. A life that you had and you gave to us and you took our own and went to the cross and nailed it there. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you that no ailment is older or stronger than what you have already done. We bless your holy name. We give you alone all the glory. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name, Father. Thank you, Father God. I want you to open your mouth again this hour. Think of what Jesus Christ did for you. You know, whenever we are preaching it or saying it, it looks so simple. But you will know when you are going through sickness and the pains, you can imagine the kind of pain or when you are having migraine, how inconveniencing it is. But Jesus Christ submitted himself to be beaten submitted himself to be disgraced, submitted himself to be ashamed, submitted himself to be taken as nobody, but he didn't care because it was a plan that man should be reconciled for, back with the Father. I want you to open your mouth again and thank your Father for this, his goodness, his ever-loving kindness, Open my can open your life, open BOCC. I want you to open your mouth. That whatever that we are going through, we and we know and we are certain that Jesus Christ has given us peace. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. I want you to appreciate God. Father, we thank you for the peace. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done through your son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. We know we cannot thank you enough. We cannot even imagine to the full capacity of what your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, our King, went through because of us. And we are here as a family appreciating you, Father. We are saying thank you, Father. 
thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you alone all the glory. In Jesus' wonderful and mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for us, my very soul shouts hallelujah, praise God for sin. The song says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done going on the cross for me, my very soul shouts hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. I believe in the last few days we've been enjoying the Passion Week. And, and when I think of the Passion Week, you know back in the days it was just about mourning Christ and how he went to the cross. But I came to realize it was good news. And then I realized this is the month of good news. And whilst I was pondering on the word of God, something dropped in my heart. He said, this is the man whose birth was good news. And his death was good news. So what is our complaint in the name of Jesus? What is your problem in the name of Jesus? He went to the cross for you. He was born for you. And only just because God loves us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Bible says it is good news. Tonight we have come to thank God for the good news. Almighty, oppression has no hold over my life, oh God Almighty. Oh, frustration has no hold over my life, oh God. Oh, I am a child, I am a high of God. And I call her with Christ in Jesus' mighty name. And lastly, I want you to declare that by his stripes I am healed. Sickness have no power over me. I forbid sickness in my life. Church, begin to declare in the mighty name of Jesus that as I stand, oh God Almighty, as I go through the suffering with him, oh God, I declare I am healed. I declare I am healed, my God. Amen. Today, my God, I speak, oh God Almighty, over every sickness, my God. Oh, yes, I forbid you in my life, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody give God hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. It is a great evening. And it is wonderful. And the month of good news. First Peter chapter 1 verse 2. I mean sorry. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24. He said who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed ye were healed now Peter saw the now saw the revelation already because Isaiah had already saw the revelation concerning the coming of Jesus Christ. That means God was already having you in mind before Jesus was born 700 years before the birth of Jesus. This revelation was already seen concerning the birth of Jesus. The reason why I'm saying this is for you to understand that Whatever you're going through, God has already prepared the solution 
in advance before these days. Give me the book, Isaiah. Yeah. Okay, right. Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Now, this man was seeing the revelation. That is why he said, we are healed. Talking about something that is yet to come. Now, when Peter saw it, he said, yes, by his stripes, we are healed. That means we are no longer going to get healed again. Even if you are going through pain, Christ has already released the med spiritual medication. For your healing. For your healing. Now, the pilot released him instead of Barnabas that committed crime. He says, you know what? He released Jesus to be beaten. He was touched. And blood started gushing out of his body. So when I saw that blood, that means everything Isaiah has seen, he was already manifesting. That blood is something that Christ has used in exchanging us, giving us life, giving us life, replacing us with newness. Praise the Lord. Let everyone say newness. Newness. So that is what the Bible says. So I was just going through that. I said there are a lot of significance. To what this means to we believers. Praise the Lord. A lot of significance it made to us. Then I started going through it. That means the atonement of sin, the blood of Jesus, brought atonement of sin for sin. According to the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, uh, 9, verse 22. Hebrews 9, verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Revelation was still ongoing. Praise the Lord. So without shedding of blood, there is no remission. So if Christ has not shed blood on the cross, there wouldn't have been remission. Praise the Lord. Then the next one, because of time, will be very fast. The next one, redemption. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 1 verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Hallelujah. Then the third one, my brother was talking and laying emphasis of the importance of fasting yesterday. He talked about forgiveness. So the next one is forgiveness. First John chapter 1 verse 7. So that when we all seen what Jesus did, in shedding of blood, how he suffered, how he was caught, how he was beaten, how he was chastised because of us. We know so that we know why he was doing it. That before this happened, God has already had you and I in plan. First John 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Praise the Lord. All sin. It is said, cleanse you away from a sin. He said, what? Well, from all sin. Whatever the devil, the accuser, who is always pointing finger back, because that is the job of the devil. The devil is to start looking for how to accuse you, because he has no place anymore. Because that is his duty on earth, to accuse, to report you. But who the person, that, I mean the God in heaven that is reporting you to, has already dethroned him. And he made you God over them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So forgiveness. So like my brother said yesterday, 
forgive. It doesn't matter what is it, who is who, I mean, who offended you or how painful it is. Like Pastor will say, forgiveness is for you. It takes burdens away from you. Hallelujah. Then the next one is new covenant. His death, his shedding of blood brought new covenant. Luke chapter 20, verse 22. Luke 20, verse 22. Hallelujah. Is it lawful for us to forgive tribute unto Caesar or no? I said, verse, oh, sorry, I said 22 verse 20. 22 verse 20. Luke 22 verse 20. Likewise also, the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. That is why when pastor always have us take communion, we always recite this. This is the purpose why we always do that in remembrance of him. Renewing the blood. Renewing the medication. When the sickness is there, take the, like pastor said, take the, take, 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 take it. This is the renewment of the blood of Jesus. Washing away all impurity, all sicknesses, all problems and all hindrances. Praise the Lord. Then the last one, victory over death. This is where we're going to hammer all our prayer. And you we're going to pull your shoe like uh, Prophet Moses said, this is, this is the holy ground. Praise the Lord. So we're going to pray with this one. Praise the Lord. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Praise the Lord. Revelation 12, verse 11. Praise the Lord. You're going to declare life to every part of your body. Life to every part of your business. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Karekashaka leboshi katalaba. I need you to prophesy. Prophesy, prophesy life to everything that you own. Prophesy life to your children. Prophesy life to your profession. Prophesy life to anything that you've seen that has not given any green light to life. Prophesy life. Maleke librakata. Lebru kashaka telebru. Malireke tu regedini ama. Pareke ke libro godo shakatala baba. Maleke do. Father, we declare life to every part of our body, to every part of body of Christ. We declare life to wherever, wherever issues have been dead, tissue dead, every organs. When his body was pierced, his blood started cutting out. He's telling us that yes, no matter how how dysfunction the organs could be, he said there will be healing because he went through the same process. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we release life right now in the mighty name of Jesus uh, to every infirmities, to every infirmities, to every sicknesses, to every pains, uh, for every situation. We release the blood, uh, we release life of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, for I will release life, life to everything, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As I was reading how he was caught and the blood was catching out, he was beaten. Brother Sabo was saying he was wiped, his skins, everything started falling apart. They scorched him, they scorched his internal body was internal bleeding. So I saw something there. I said Jesus was showing us that no matter how your organ, the doctor will tell you that your organs are dysfunctioning. No matter how the doctor will tell you your life, there is no solution. Jesus Christ is saying, look, I showed that to you that you can know that there is always a renewment because I have shed the blood. My organ was pierced. My body was broken. He said my ribs were broken. My head was pierced. 
He said, but behold, he said, there was newness to the body. He rose again and the body became new. That is for you today. And wherever you are having that pain, I need you to hold it. I say, renew me to my body. Renew me to my body. Heal it to that part of body. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see life in that body. Because the blood of Jesus was released. I became new and I have been renewed in Christ Jesus. I have been, I am now overcomer. I overcame every situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. I am no longer sick. I am no longer in pain. I am no longer tired. I am no longer weakened. He renewed my strength. In the name of Jesus. Jesus renewed strength. Begin to prophesy strength. Say, I receive strength. In the name of Jesus. Your children receive strength. In the name of Jesus. Life of God has been released in the name of Jesus. Oh, no more bad news. No more bad news. Jesus, Jesus has recovered it all. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says he went to hell. You know, he went to hell and he fought the demons and he shook them off and he took, behold, the key of life. In the name of Jesus, I have life, I have strength. Oh, Rakapaka Shekete. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy for the body of Christ. Begin to prophesy for BOCC. Say, BOCC. Yes, you have a new place. You have new place. You have a new place. New bed of new location. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rakayeke le brokoteli gaga. Gedi karaba. In the name of Jesus. Father, I will thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood. Oh, Rakayaba. Another revelation. Another, another revelation. When the daughter come with that bad news. Like about four years ago, my sister called me and said, I had a revelation, you and your children were traveling, something happened. And my, my response was that, oh sister, it's too late. If Jesus has not died, I would have said, I would have considered it. But because Jesus has already died, it's too late. Now what I want you to say now, say to your problem, it's too late. They have arrived too late. They arrived too late. It's too late. Because any, any negative thing that comes to you is too late. Because the blood, the blood, the blood pass you over. The blood pass you over. Say, I passed over. It's too late. It's too late. The devil is too late. Bad news is too late. Sickness is too late. It's too late. Baka broko shekere. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. The month of good news. Oh, Satan is too late. It's too late. Bareke shalaba. Morobo shakatalaba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Offering time, blessing time. I'll be reading from the book of Deuteronomy 16, verse 17. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessings of the Lord, thy God which has given thee. What this prayer is trying to tell us is God has done too much for us, it's only right for us to give back to the to give back to the people in need. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for bringing us to your presence this morning, this uh, evening. Lord, thank you that nothing bad happened to us on our way here. I ask you to guide us through the rest of this month, O oh Lord, as we keep giving to the people in need. I pray that our pocket will never run dry, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We serve the great and mighty God, the one and only first and the last the great God 
Jehovah, 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 your name is great, Jehovah, 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 your name Jehovah, 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 your name is great. Jehovah, 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 your name Jehovah, 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 your name is Jehovah, 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 your name things he has done greater things he will do unto the Lord be the glory great things he has done great things great the Lord. Please let's sit down for some few minutes before we bring the service to a close as we are celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ and all that he has done for us. Um, on Monday we already recognized the fact that Jesus Christ bleeded um, you know right on his foreheads and the brows and the sweat were coming uh, great uh, drops of uh, blood. Uh, Luke chapter 22 verse 44 and then yesterday we are able to learn concerning him being whipped you know by the soldiers so today uh, what we went through is the eternal bleeding not the physical outward bleeding but the internal bleeding uh, that jesus christ has to go through the disappointments the shame that he has to go through the emotional breakdown that he has to go through i hope you know that you know if someone is being exposed like that there is an emotional breakdown that is going to be experiencing and that means that every psychological emotional breakdown that we have ever experienced has been taken away in the mighty name of jesus uh, no oppression no depression anymore in our lives whoever has looked down on you uh, i want you to know that god is about to respond to your situation your story is about to change for the better uh, anyone that has ever experienced bullying in school or mobbing at work uh, the situation is changing around now because of what jesus went through uh, bleeding internally has been cancelled in the mighty name of jesus not only the emotional part has been cancelled but also iniquity has been nullified so that means every scene of our four parents that we went through uh, the bible says abraham lied and so isaac lied too uh, because it was passed over and jacob also had to lie you know so it became an iniquity one man seen his name was david and inside solomon it became an iniquity so it's going to for the next generation a higher level so they start doing things 
um, you know, subconsciously, not even knowing that it's in, and it will now aggravate into something bigger. The Bible calls that kind of a sin iniquity. So whenever you see the word iniquity, it's a different kind of sin. That means it's a sin that has actually been passed through the bloodline. You do it without not even knowing that you did it. And then afterwards, you now start to look upon yourself that, oh, what is that thing that I've done? And it becomes so difficult to hold yourself back. But Jesus Christ, because of his eternal bleeding, he broke that curse. Oh, my Lord, I don't know who I'm praying for. I say he broke that curse. Whatever our foreparents did, which was a sin and is being passed through as iniquity, we are not going to inherit those things. Our children will not inherit our mistakes. The Bible says that the parents has eaten the grapes and now the teeth of the children are sour. That will not be our portion. We are breaking that generational curse. That generational sin is broken. From today on, start to enter into generational blessing. I say enter into generational blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as we are going through this um, journey, tomorrow we are going to be here. Tomorrow is going to be our fourth day and then on Friday is going to be our fifth day. Please remember, uh, we, is going to, we are going to start tomorrow by 6 p.m. Uh, not one minute later than 6 p.m. And then on Friday, uh, the washing of feet, we will be here by 9 um, p.m. for the washing of feet. And then night vigil is going to start by 11 o'clock. But have you been blessed so far? Any one of you have been feeling inside of you that something needs to change in this season. Uh, things cannot just remain the way it was. Whatever happened 2015, uh, it is there. It's not going to re-happen again now. We want a better situation. Even if you are promoted last year, this year you are going to get a double promotion. If you had a major breakthrough last year, this year is going to be a higher level of a breakthrough. If anyone puts you down last year, this year you will be elevated and notified. The Bible says the life of, of Mordecai changed because the king remembered what he has done, you know, past years. Some of you have done something good. You have sown a good seed. Uh, before the end of this summer 2024, I'm calling forth for the harvest. Okay. This prayer is only for the people that will be standing on their feet to receive it. The harvest from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Every good seed that you have sown in the life of people, institution, or into nations. We are calling them forth to come to you. Between now and the 30th of June, let them start to manifest in your lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Can we share the grace together? The grace. Uh-huh. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Please, there are fruits right here at the altar. Just come over and grab some fruits. Uh, these are for the people that are fasting, not the ones that are not fasting and eating our fruits anyhow. Uh, <laughs>